see where it is right now. And uh, basically up in the Carolinas at the moment. And still a tropical storm. And it's going to remain tropical storm uh, intensity here. It's not going to respark up into a hurricane. At least the forecast does not show it going into a hurricane mode again. But it will meander around Bermuda for a little bit. And the end of this forecast still a lot of uncertainty with that but the beginning of it pretty much this is going to happen here with the models really good agreement until it gets out towards bermuda and then it widens up here with some of them taking up to the north pretty quickly and some meandering around a little bit more we don't have uh those ones that come back around now but even so, like we told you yesterday, that was never a concern because it was going to be a much weaker storm anyways, even if it came back around. And that was only a slim chance for that happening. But what that track is going to do here, the one where it just moves and meanders to around Bermuda, is send some large northeast swells our way for one of the biggest boating weekends of the entire year, which is Labor Day. And it's going to start on Saturday and go through Labor Day, these big swells coming in. Boating will be fine uh, up and down the intracoast coastal, the inland waters, the sandbars, that kind of thing. But coming out the inlet, it's going to be very difficult. And in fact, may even be a large waves breaking across the inlet. So it's not going to be a good time if you're going to try to do the crossing too. Uh, maybe do it early, but then you might get stuck out there because, well, it's going to stay pretty much uh, pretty rough all the way through next week. Delray Beach here looking nice, but check it out. We do have, if you didn't go out and look at it, a big, bright, full, super blue moon. There you go, rising across the area. I went outside and looked at it. It looked fantastic there, really big and bright. Now, no rain across the area. We cleared out nicely, got a nice view of that moon here, maybe a few clouds moving from uh, northern Palm Beach County to Martin County. Temperatures are in the 80s. It's warm and sultry. Going to be another hot day tomorrow. 94 we made it to today, both in Vero and West Palm. We'll make it into the uh, mid-90s again tomorrow. Heat index 110. Could see a heat advisory tomorrow and even Friday, too. There will be a couple of showers and storms in the morning, some uh, just really racing through in the afternoon. And then as we get into Friday, we start to reset back to our normal pattern, which is morning sunshine, afternoon thunderstorms, pushing westward, and then off the coast. Then we get a surge of northeast wind to bring some moisture back on Saturday morning. But then by the afternoon, that pushes on through and we dry on out here for the rest of the holiday weekend. Also, Idalia is going to help push down a front. Now the front will wash out, but this drier air will actually make it into South Florida and we're going to see a drop in humidity. Not a huge drop, but it'll be a drop that you'll be able to notice starting Saturday night, Sunday, Monday. All look really nice and possibly even into next week. Not too bad with the humidity out there. Now elsewhere in the tropics, this thing up to a 70% chance here. It does look like it's going to head north pretty quickly. We also have TD11 that formed while all eyes were over here, uh, but that's not doing anything. This is leftover Gert with a 10% chance and Franklin still a hurricane that's going to continue to move on out. So busy in the tropics, but uh, effects from it now moving on. Boating and beach forecast, bumpy offshore with the offshore winds and then calming down Friday. It's the only calm day. Then things get real rough Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Listen to lifeguards at the beach. They'll let you know if it's safe to get in the water, but it will be very rough out there. But temperatures will be nice near 90 with lower humidity.